Problems type one, assume Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. So now we have a population that has 50% white sheep and white is recessive to black. What are D, H, and R? Oh my goodness. So what we're trying to solve for is D, H, and R. I'm gonna write a few things out for you. D, H, R. We know that D is P squared, H is two PQ, and R is Q squared. And we know these all add up to one. Well, that kind of makes sense. And these add to one. What are D, H, and R? What we know is that there are 50% white sheep, and we know those white sheep must be this group here. So R is equal to 0. 0.50. We also know, because of looking this way, that R is equal to Q squared. R equals Q squared equals 0.5. Now, we can only do this operation because we know that this population is in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. If it's not in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, you don't expect the proportion of little a's homozygous to be Q squared. So you can't do this, but let's take a look at that. So now that you know that, um, we can though do it. We can say uh, the square root of Q squared should be, uh, gosh, let's figure that equals the square root of 0.5. Now I'm gonna get out my calculator here and find out the square root of uh, 0.5. So I'm gonna write 0.5 square root 0 0.7, 0 0.7. So that is what Q equals. Now once I know Q, I know that P must equal 0.3 because they sum to one, and now I can easily go p squared plus two pq plus q squared, and I can say 0.3 squared is this number, two times 0.3 times 0.7, plus q squared is gonna be 0.7 squared. That feels pretty good. Now 0.7 squared should be equal to 0.5, right? So you can just go ahead and figure this out by 0 0.3 times 0 0.3 is 0 0.09. 0 0.3 times 0 0.7 is going to be 0 0.21 times 2 is 0.42. And 0.7 squared is going to be 0 0.50 or 0 0.49. So that was pretty easy. So this is D, and this is H, and this is R, if they're in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium.